What happens when you don't know your left from right? Your L turns into an R. Using absolutely nothing but nippets or cornflex if you're American. I am American. They're cornflex. <laughs> Double nippets. That's all you need. So I lost my cameraman, so I'll just walk you through it real quick. You don't necessarily need to do a tape measure alignment, but I'm driving about 20 miles to get the actual alignment tomorrow, and I don't want to screw up the nice BFG all-terrains. So basically, you just have to picture which way it needs to go. I measured from the back of the rotor to the front of the rotor, and I was about a quarter inch off, uh, toe in. So to make it toe out, the tie rods need to be longer. So it's opposites. So turning this one loose out of the outer, and you can see the gap that opened up there. And same with this side, turning loose out of the knuckle. So we'll tighten this jam nut back up. It's a 24 millimeter back head up here. 15 here and the jam nut. Uh, I want to say it's 24 millimeter, but I was using the Nipix on that, which are really handy to have. You also might have noticed earlier I used plastic zip ties. Wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but I don't have any stainless zip ties at the moment, so I'll slap some of those on later. I was expecting Moog to include some, but they didn't. Um, so I've got my joints all greased up, get the fittings on the ball joints I did previously. And if you're interested in these massive two and a half inch Bilstein coilovers, I've got some videos on those as well. Uh, 
yeah so thanks for watching good luck with uh, rebuilding your front end